more, we could be facing a financial crisis even bigger than the mortgage fallout, the collapse of the anti-Bush merchandise economy. According to Commerce Department figures, almost a third of the U.S. GDP last year came from the sale of items like Buckfush t-shirts and Bushism of the Day calendars. Joining us now from the Onion News Network's Money Room is our economics expert, Joshua Russell. What's the situation here, Joshua? Well, Pamela, for the past eight years, anti-Bush merchandise has been the most stable sector of our economy. But some analysts are predicting that the moment Bush leaves office, demand for somewhere in Texas a village is missing its idiot products is going to evaporate and the American economy is going to take a major hit. No one wants a Bush is not my president t-shirt if it's literally true. That's right. Last quarter, major anti-Bush industry player Cafe Press derived 54% of its revenue from anti-Bush t-shirts and baby bits. 54%? 54. And companies like these, believe me, there are thousands of them, will all go under. There are whole towns built up around Bush with Hitler mustache keychain factories. And those communities will be devastated. So unemployment will rise. Oh, across the board, Pamela. Everyone from the design firms who create smush bush stress balls to the legions of truckers who haul them across the country to Spencer's gift cashiers who sell them. Unemployment rates could jump as much as 11, even 12 percent. 12 percent? That's massive. Yes, and the picture gets even more grim when you look at some of the related industries. There's the anti-Cheney merchandise, a surprisingly large anti-Bush Supreme Court justice appointee and anti jenna Bush market. Definitely a large All market. All included, these industries make up around 40% of the American economy. So a collapse could completely devastate the nation. It could and it will. But isn't it likely that Bush will continue to make gaffes after he leaves office? In all likelihood, yes. But while making fun of the president now has the appearance of speaking truth to power, doing it after he's left office just seems like harassment of a retired old man. So I don't think there'll be much demand. Is there anything else that can be done? We need to develop totally new products for marginally politically active liberals to throw their money away on. Like? A fad diet. A new series of Buddhist-inspired self-help books. A new exercise trend. Absolutely. Good advice. Okay, Joshua Russell, thanks for your expertise. Thank you, Pamela. You're welcome. And coming up, computer giant Dell introduced the Hungry Man mega chip today. Why are banks continuing to finance loans to these anti-Bush startups? This I mean, just question. last week, the Blackstone Group paid right. $6 million yeah. to a company that makes stick it to bush pin cushions. Why would they do that? Because they assume the new pin cushion will be as big a cash cow I as see. the Bush-making-stupid-face next to monkey-making-similar-face mouse pad.